hello guys welcome to another class and in this class what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be solving a lot of questions that are related to jam and in this class pay attention to the method because there are special techniques that are involved in solving some kind of problems and um, before i start i will give the principle of energy conservation and the principle of energy conservation states that energy can never be created nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another energy can never be created nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another right so we can say that e1 for a closed system is equal to e2 right okay now let us dive into our question um question one we have here question one states that a boy drag a bag of rice along a smooth horizontal floor with a force of two looting applied at an angle of 60 degrees to the floor the work done after a distance of 30 meter is what now when you look at this question very carefully it is very important and simple to analyze because it says the boy drag a bag of rice along the horizontal floor with a force of two newton, which means that f when you are solving in physics make sure you write out your parameter so f is equal to two and applied at angle which means that theta is equal to 60 right you say the work done when the distance s is equal to what three meter and in this case work is what or not so to get the work here this is a jump question than an seven so to get the work here we know that w is equal to what cos times distance cos theta right so here the force is two and the distance covered is three times the cosine of 60 degree and we know that 2 times 6, 2 times 3 is 6, right? And we know that cos 60 is 0 0.5, which is same thing as half. So everything here will be equal to 3. That is 3 joules. That is the answer. The next question here we have is that a constant force of 40 Newton, constant force of 40 Newton, that means F is equal to 40. Acting on a body initially at rest gives an acceleration of this an acceleration of 0 0.1 meter per second square, right? For four seconds, for four seconds, which means that C is equal to four seconds. Accolade the work done by the force. So work is equal to unknown. We know that work is equal to what force times distance, right? Now we have the force here. We have force. We have force. We have force. We have acceleration. We have time. But we don't have distance. We don't have distance. We don't have distance. So what do we do? We look for distance first, right? And how do we find distance? We can find distance from acceleration and time. How? Remember, remember from the first equation of motion that V, are you getting it now? That S, sorry, S is equal to UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared, right? S is equal to ut plus 1 over 2 at squared and they told us that the body starts from rest so since the body starts from rest which means that u will be equal to 0 right so when we plug into this when we plug into this um, this equation it becomes s is equal to 0 times t is equal to 4 right that's 4 plus half 1 over 2 times 0 0.1 
right? And the time here is four, four square, right? Four square. And um, if we continue, we continue, we continue. That means that S. That means that S. Let me now. S will be equal to now zero times four will be equal to zero, right? Plus one all over two times zero point one and four square is sixteen, right? So two going to here one, two going to sixteen, eight. So zero point one times eight will be zero point eight, right? So that means S equal to zero point eight. Now we have gotten X. We have gotten X. And since we have gotten x at 0 0.8, we can now solve for the work done because work is force times distance. We already have force, we have now gotten x. So that implies that work here is force times distance. And we know that force from the question is 40 Newton. And s is 0 0.8 as we have gotten, right? So 40 times 0 0.8 is equal to 32 joules. This is very easy. So these are the techniques we need to solve problems in jump and wire. Make sure you think, you write out the parameters, look for the parameters that are not given, and look for the relationship that can be gotten from the parameters. Alright, now let us. Um, let us see another question and we have here it says are we getting it now it says the engine of a train produces a force of 3000 newton when moving at 30 meter per second calculate the power of the engine it says the engine of a train the engine of a train produces a force with f here equal to 3000 newton right when moving at 30 meter per second and the velocity is equal to 30 meter per second calculate the power of the engine power is equal to or new remember from our formula that power is equal to work over time the same power is equal to force times velocity right now we have gotten the force here. We know that F, we know that F here is 30, right? And velocity here is 30 meter per second. So S is F is 300, and velocity 30 meter per second. So that means that T, if you want me to write F here, I put 3,000, no 300, and velocity and velocity which is of 30. And everything here will be equal. We're getting it. Everything here will be equal to 9,000 watts. 9,000 watts. Sorry, 9,000 watts. So that's the answer. 9,000 watts. All right. So um, I have another example here. And the example state. At how long will a little man of 60 kg climb a height of 22 meters if he expended energy at a rate of 0.25 kilowatts? 6 g to be equal to 10. Now he says how long, which means how long means what time, right? So we are looking for time since they say how long. So t is equal to unknown. With a man of 600 kg, with a man of 60 kilogram, that means the mass m is equal to 60 kg, right? Climb a height of 22 meter. That means that s is equal to what? 22 meter.
okay let us use fish here for this form fish not s fish height they are almost the same thing if you expanded energy at the rate of 0.2 kilowatt now he said if he extended energy we know that the rate of doing work is power and work and energy are the same thing right so which means that the rate of expanding energy also means the rate of expanding work and the rate of expanding work is what power since power is the rate of doing work which means that literally this 0.25 here is the power of the man. So that means the power of the man equals to 0 0.25 kilowatt. Right? Alright, so what do we do here? We know that from our last class that power, are we getting it now? Equal to work, work over time, right? now um <coughs> we have power here we have power we have mass we have fish so what do we do we know that we are looking for t right which means we must get work so that we can cross multiply with power to get time so what we are looking for we already have t all we are looking for is this work so that when we have this work the next thing we just do is to make t the subject of formula and we know how can we get work from mass and height remember that potential energy pe is equal to mgh right and mgh like this thing this thing is the mass m g is what 10 meter per second square it was given pressure and height 22 meter right so if we multiply everything here um, multiply everything here i think okay let's just leave it like this let me leave it like this so this means that the work is 50 times 10 times 22 this is how to solve without calculator right okay <clears throat> since the work is 60 times 10 times 22 how is that the work we know that energy is the same thing as work right and the energy done here is the potential energy right so uh, in this formula now i will uh, 60 times 10 times 22 right so that means w is equal to 50 times 10 times 22 so we know that power is equal to what so the u over t now we know power already power is what power is uh, 0.25 yeah. and our work is 50 times 10 22. What of time? Time is what we are looking for. And we make time the subject of formula. We make time the subject of formula. How do you do that? You cross multiply, right? So when you cross multiply, it becomes uh, 0 0.25 t. It's a long method, but we just have to keep the basics simple. Right? So we divide through by 25 and that will give us um, 60 times 10 times 22 all over I'm getting it now 0 0.25 okay oh sorry 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 is 0 0.25 kilowatt right not 0 0.25 watt so since it's kilowatt we are multiplying the 0 0.25 by 1000 this is kilowatt because i said kilowatt means watt times 1000 right okay so that everything here will now be equal to 
first of calculator or to solve that without using calculator i think i will upload that in the math class how to solve without using calculator the time will be 52.8 seconds all right thank you very much in the next series we will see touch some calculation parts and after that we go to a new topic called machine thank you very much